Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to solve a crisscross puzzle, which is a type of crossword variant where you're given all the answers and you have to work out where they go in the grid to create a valid filled crossword grid. Now, crisscross puzzles normally start with an empty grid and you have to work out where to place obviously all of the words. And so it's trickier at the start because you've got no clues to go on. And as you start solving, it generally gets easier and easier, as is the case with a lot of puzzle types. So in terms of where to start, it's normally best to see which words, um, in terms of lengths, have the least options. So there's four eight-letter words, four seven-letter words, four six, one, two, three, four, six five-letter words, and only three four letters and three three-letter words. So the obvious place to start would be to look at the either the three-letter words or the four-letter words where there's only three options and see what can go where to get us started. Um, and in terms of which word to pick, it's often good to look for a, a fairly unusual letter. So I can see here, yams has got a Y at the start. Um, now, obviously, Y is not particularly common, so that could be a good place to start. Um, and it's a case of really seeing if it were to go here, then what are the options? So if we were to put yams in there, then we need an eight letter word down here that ends in Y something. Well, none of the words end in Y something. We have R, N, E and E. So yams can't go there. Let's try it over here. If this was yams, then we can see we'd have a six letter word with the second letter A. Again, that's not possible. We have Y, I, R and O. And so if yams can't go there, that only leaves one place, which is here. So we can put our first word in the grid and you'll see the software crosses off the word as we place it. And now before I go any further, I should add that if you'd like to have a go at solving this puzzle before watching the rest of this video, then there's a link to it in the YouTube description and it's completely free to play. Okay, so now we have a first clue for this eight letter word and there's only one that begins with a so we can write in artistry here and we have a seven letter word here with the second letter i well that could be figment or it could be firmin so we're not sure yet let's have a look at this eight letter word that ends in s well, we have realizes and vanishes okay so we're going to have to do a bit more detective work well let's say this was realizes that gives us r e is there an eight letter word with a third letter E? No, we have M and N for the two other options. So that can't be realizes. So that means that this must be vanishes. Okay, and now we can place imminent. Now you'll notice we only now have one eight letter word left, realizes. And therefore, we simply find the other eight letter placement in the grid, or we know it's here, and we write in realizes there. Whenever you only have one option of a word length left, then it makes sense to write it in straight away. That now gives us Etna here, and again, we only have one four letter left, so that's four. It goes there. Look, we now have a six letter word with a second letter O of which poorer is the only option. And then in here, the only five letter word ending in R is flower. So you can see that generally, as soon as we start making decent progress with a crisscross, it suddenly gets a lot easier to solve. Now across here, we now have something I, something M. So that can still be figment or firmin, okay. So we can't place that yet. How about this one here, six letter, second letter R, yes. Or rates the only option for that one okay now down here we've got a six letter word that ends in e something so that's cycles and now again we have one six letter word left that must go here finally now a three letter word we can place our first three letter word there's only one with a second letter i 
five letter word beginning with D, we just have baby. Five letter word ending in T, we just have a dot left now that we've placed baby. Boy, that leaves us one three letter word bug. A seven letter word ending in C it must be organic. And now we can finally disambiguate our figment firming option because this ends in the G. So this is firming. And this is figment. We now have one seven letter word left. That's partial. Something A, something A. Well, that's only nasal. Now we're writing the last couple of words. This must be rouge. And that just leaves us, unless we've gone horribly wrong, bales. Okay, so that's bales in place. Uh, every word is crossed off. Let's click check solution. Yes, okay. And so that's how to solve a crisscross puzzle. So to recap, it's hardest at the start where you have no options in the grid. So that's the time to just look through the word list and pick the word lengths that have the least options. Here it was three and four letters. And then if you can try and find a relatively uncommon letter, we put the Y of yams, looked at the options in the grid for the four letter placements and determined where it had to go and then continued from there. Okay, hope you found that video useful. If you have any comments or if there's any other videos you'd like to see them, please do let us know. And as ever, please do like and subscribe to our channel so you can be notified when we release new videos. Bye.